Okay. H of x is x minus 3 times x squared minus 9. x squared minus 9 factors is x plus 3 times x minus 3. <coughs> and if you want to solve it, I mean x squared minus 9 equals 0, so x squared equals 9, so x is plus or minus the square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3, right? So either way, we get this. Here's our x-axis, and here is, so zeros at 3, negative 3, and 3. We get 3 twice, right? And that actually turns out to be important, as we'll see. It does something that we haven't seen it do yet. Okay? The graph does something that we've not seen. Okay, well, so we got negative 3, and we got 3. And we say the multiplicity of the 3 is 2. Is that's it a negative 3 that we have 2 of the... the what now? Don't we have 2 of the negative 3 there? Oh man, I told you to keep an eye on me today. I know I'm prone to doing ignorant things, okay? And I did one, so let's change it slightly. Uh, the multiplicity 2 is now over here, except no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change the function again. X plus 3. Okay? And I'll change it over here, okay. If it's x plus 3, then I don't have to change anything else. That was an easy thing to change. Okay? And, but now, yeah, the other thing I have to change is that my multiplicity 2 is now negative 3, right? I think you're right. Never it should mind. be 2 3's, right? It would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Let's sort this out. <laughs> okay. Y'all trying to confuse me. 